The Dustbin Men, P619-16, edited. Taxman's came me again. It'd be cheaper to have him at home, living in. If we lived in Switzerland, we wouldn't pay no figging tax. It'd be a long way to get to work in the morning. <laughs> poverty. Grinding poverty. Mum says when poverty comes through the door, love flies out the window. That's very profound, that is. Must be an old Welsh saying. A very old Welsh saying. I don't know what it means, but we're always saying it. <laughs> what was that then? What was what? What you just said? I've forgotten. It must be an old Welsh saying. Oh, yes, that's right. And there's another very old Welsh saying, as always saying in Wales, honesty is the best policy. No wonder they're all figging starving. They're not <laughs> starving in Wales. They soon will be if they go on talking like that. The working man can't afford to be honest. But we're honest. Yeah, look at us. You're not proposing we become dishonest, are you? Well, no. Not exactly. I mean, you haven't had a proposition to lead us from the paths of righteousness, clean living and pigging poverty. No. Well, I have. <laughs> what was it? After due consideration, I turned it down. Mind you, it was tempting. Very tempting. Well, tempt us a little, then. Don't keep all this temptation to yourself. You might come out with psychedelic boils. It wouldn't do no harm to hear what it was, just out of curiosity. An old schoolmate of mine's in the Merchant Navy and he's got 5,000 duty-free fags he wants to bring ashore. Uh, why doesn't he bring them ashore himself? Because the Customs not only know him, they have a life-size model of him in their training school. <laughs> and the recruits prod it with iron spikes and when they hit the contraband, his nose lights up. <laughs> these, uh, these fags, uh, what's he asking for them? Uh, 20 quid. Hey, hang on. 5,000 fags at 20 quid, that's, uh... Hey, we, we could clear about 40 quid on that lot. Well, we're doing the docks this morning. Yeah. It's like a sign from heaven. Yeah. Heaven does not give signs to go out smuggling. If heaven does give a sign, it'll be to the customs men. They won't know. Oh, yes, they will. A great finger will point from the sky and right up our exhaust pipe. They've got X-ray <laughs> eyes in their backsides. Three months they got me for. Three months during the war, just for bringing ashore a side of bacon strapped round my chest. Foolproof it was. I'd had false hair put on it. And I had it tattooed, I love mother. But they found it. They outwitted you, cheese and egg. That's why you're bitter. They were there sitting smugly in the custom shed, waiting to nail me. Well, I was out chasing e-boats and u-boats and half the bloody enemy alphabet. Ah, oh, they outwitted you. Of course, if it was me, I'd, uh, I'd get me revenge. I'd outwit them back. You? You couldn't outwit a ruptured attic. But it's accurate. <laughs> no, but you could. Yeah, you could. I've got every confidence in you, cheese and egg. And here is my fibre to prove it. And mine. Eric? No, I'll not have nothing to do with it. It's illegal. He's right. All right, cheese and egg. We understand. The system's got you. You're broken. You're a governor's man. Say that again and I'll smash your epiglottis. It only means they've outwitted you. They have not outwitted me, you bug brain oaf! Nobody outwits me! Least of all, a load of land girls with gold braid round their hats. That's more like it. I can outwit any man living. Well, put your fiver in then. Isn't that mine in there? No. Don't practice on us. Very well then, only I do this not for sordid money to gain, I do this as a scientific exercise in intellectual chicanery. I might even give the proceeds to charity. Highly commendable, we're still a five alight. Hey, sir, you haven't opened this envelope yet? I never open my pay packet till I get home to my mam. And she opens it and reads out all my deductions for the week. Right off the pay slip, she reads them out to me. Are you sure she doesn't sing them to you in the parlour? Huh? 
Go round the pig and pee on and making a night of it. Well, no. We've only got a juice, huh? Put your money in. No. <laughs> Large sums of money were changing hands and it all went quiet when I showed up. Really, but I'm up to my withers in work. I mean, unless you have clear evidence of a, of a misdemeanor, I'd, I'd, I'd really rather you went and did something useful, like raffia work or embroidery. <laughs> Look, they're up to something. It's your duty to investigate. I, I don't need your fluorescent fingernails to point out to me my path of duty. Look at all this that I've got. PAYE forms and pay slips, national insurance cards. I don't even have time to do it properly. And you don't bloody care what they're up to. Oh, okay, but so what do you think they're doing? Do you think they're, they're gun running or something? I mean, do, do you think Manchester's about to withdraw from the Commonwealth or something? Oh, get out. I'm terribly busy. Oh, by the way, if you do happen to hear anything of a, you know, any gossip in the canteen, I mean, do come and tell me. <clears throat> Mind you, if what you hear has nothing to do with work, I mean, if it's something of a personal nature... Come straight back and tell you. It might be wiser, yeah. <laughs> oh, blast. It's the Williams National Insurance Card. For the last time, put your piggin' money in. No! We're saving! Every spare penny we got goes in a teapot for our holidays. Home from married penguins. Did you wish to adopt an egg? <laughs> yes. I'll tell it. Eric, bloody delight I want to see you. There, he's on to us. Eric won't say anything, will you? No, Eric hadn't bloody better. If you don't say anything at all, you can't go wrong, can you? No. Right, off you go. He'll talk, you know, he always does. Well, now, Llewellyn, you, you don't mind if I call you Eric, do you? <laughs> Let's be informal, huh? Cigarette? Oh, go on, take one. You're old enough to cough, aren't you? <laughs> no, no, no. No, I'm not trying to make you smoke. I'm, uh, I'm merely asking. No, I admire you for not smoking. I don't smoke either. <laughs> now then, what I'm going to say to you need go no further. Now, I want you to sign this form, Eric. Now, if you sign it, I can fill it in later. Will you do that for me? <laughs> Eric. Ah. Now then, let me put it a different way. I've been eating your national insurance card. <laughs> See, that is my mustard on it. Yeah, ah, yes, 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 it is my fault, I know, for making it into a sandwich. Yes. Now, you see, I've got to get this form filled in so that the town hall can get you another card. And I thought, I thought we'd cook up a little story like you left it in your overalls pocket so you got, you got sent to the laundry and all mangled up in the machinery. What do you think of that, huh? Are you still with me? Yeah. Ah, good. Well, now, that's all for now. Now, you go away and think about it and come back and see me again in, what shall we say, in about three minutes? <laughs> That'll be all. What did you tell him? Nothing. All he did was to tell me he'd eaten my insurance card. <laughs> hey, yeah. it must have. Was he foaming at the mouth? Yeah, I never noticed. It's probably Ace in this temple. All the goldfish down our way have gone down with it. I knew it was nothing, really. Right, Eric. Bung your five quid in and we're off. No! Mam wouldn't like it. It's got nothing to do with your mam. You're the breadwinner. Look, if there's smuggling to be done, you can't expect your mam to go clumping around the dock with a wooden leg and a parrot stuffed full of pots anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you can't me. Winston, you put in five pounds and you can have my share and all the profit. And while you're away, I'll sit in the loo and look at my beano. No, Winston, violence is not the answer. We must get to that boy's heart and appeal to his loyalty. <laughs> Thank you, number one. Now, lads. 
your captain speaking. We will shortly be going to action. It's the moment we've been training for. I know you will do your duty. I ask no more of you than that. Do they... do they still sell mailbags in prison? Not anymore. They sit there making plastic pinafores for pregnant space women in solitary confinement. <laughs> Dockyard approaching. We haven't done anything yet. That's true. We haven't, have we? Do they cut them out for you? Cut what out? The plastic pinafores! He's over the hill. He's gone. Do you recognise your leader? I can't sew, you see. Ginger Perkins went like this, crazed with salt water, on a raft on the ship. <laughs> you haven't been drinking salt water, have you? Of course, they haven't got anything on us, have they? Not so far. They will have in a minute, though. No, they won't. Stop the wagon. You what? Stop the wagon. I want to get off. I can't stop now. Yes, you can. Stop it. I'm getting off. I'm not going through with it. I want my freedom. Steady, lad. Steady. Get a grip on yourself. Get stuffed. Stop the wagon or I'll kill the bloody gun of you. I'm a Russian dancer. He's practicing the Leningrad Spanner Dance. It symbolizes the triumph of labor over bureaucracy. Bloody hell. I wouldn't hang around if I were you, though. Uh, he doesn't like people watching him rehearse. I'll send you tickets next week for his performance at the Oldham Coco Rooms. Oh, that's all right. I'd as soon watch him now. All right. But don't blame me if he smashes your skull in during the finale. What? Dance, Boris. Listen, there's a wee bit of a ruction going on around your dust cart. Customs men and all sorts. It's all under control. Have you still got them fags? Ah, you've changed your mind then, eh? Yes. Right. The money. When you get the fags. Ah, Englishman. Hey, you! Those slingy loose fish heads in dustbin. Wrap up first. Wrap up. You go get the stuff. <laughs> that must be one of the more illuminated thoughts of Chairman Mao. This book colloquial English for foreign students. You listen. How's your father? Go to hell, get naughty. Hello, swinging dolly girl. We go out on town, have jolly spiffing the time. You savvy? Me savvy. Now you get them fish heads wrapped up. Makey parcel. You savvy? Make parcel. Oh, me savvy, you're hungry. No more eating from dustbin. I bring fish heads. You wait. Thank you. And tell your chairman when you get home, I send my fraternal greetings. Present from Chinese People's Republic, the starving, exploited workers of capitalist system. Yes. Tell him fish heads with knobs on. Don't forget. You boil fish heads. No more eating from dustbin. You promise. Oh, me promise. I suppose they're all right, really, when they're not dropping picking atom bombs.
one name down. Suspicious. Hold on. Maybe the name. No. Put your foot down. Go straight through. Go straight. I've just seen my mate. He's been watching you all up. Watching us? Aye, watching your game. I suppose you reckon you're pretty good. Better than your gang. You want destroyed, you two. We might destroy you instead. All right, you say you've seen our game. What are you going to do about it? Challenge you. All right, we're challenged. Now prove it. Prove what? Prove it. Go on, prove it. Prove it that we knew they were there. <laughs> Three months and a stinking detention barracks through you. 30 seconds to shave with blunt razor blades and all doubling round with rifles over our heads. Now, prove it. Prove that they weren't slung away in the rubbish. What are you on about? You know what I'm on about. Go on, prove it. I'm on about your darts team. My mate saw you play last night. They want us to play them at darts. Uh, no, I've changed my mind. One potty dustman who does Russian dances we could stomach, but not a flaming darts team for. Jeez, Eric, they want us to play darts with them. <laughs> you know, we throw darts. Oh, not at us, you bloody won't. You bloody gold-braided vampire should have been at sea during the war. Oh, I did three years on a battle wagon. Which one? The Bismarck? Oh, you're round the bend, mate. Right round the bend. Go on, search the wagon. See if there's any contraband. I bloody dare you. Nazi swine. If Llewellyn won't sign this form, and he might not, he might refuse, I'll say a mad dog got into my safe and chewed up all the papers. <laughs> well, they won't be able to prove it didn't. Ah, but if it did, he wouldn't just chew one bit of paper, would it? No, I need more evidence. <laughs> Happen. You've been overworking. Get out! I, I, I won't have you snooping on me. You're, you're nothing but a matter, Harry. I could go and fetch some, Bill. If you do, Ibbotson, you'll be in it. Now get out in that yard and find me the willing. Now don't get violent. Get out in that yard! Yes, sir. I've got morning paper here if you'd like some afters. <laughs> Stay outside, keep an eye on Smelly. If he goes near the fags, call us. I don't think he will. Of course, they're pretty deep under. Yes, I know. He'd have to dive down for him. Yes, he will. All the same, keep an eye out for him. I've been a while over one minute's a year. I spent all my money on whiskey and beer. Ah, there you are, Llewellyn. Just come here a minute, will you? No, I've not done nothing. Come here when I tell you. Packet wagon, a packed evidence. Look, Chinese writing. What's it say? O P O. Fish heads. Number three gang have been smuggling fish heads into the country. Don't look at my papers, all smelling of fish now, as well as being half chewed. Open them up. That's an old dodge, that is. The opium's inside. Open them up. I'll open you up, Pippets, and get out. Cleanse him, Depot. Ah, yes, well, I, I know you want his national insurance card, yes, but we had a mad dog in here covered in fish heads. <laughs>
5,000 full strength, please. Now roll up, they're nearly all gone. Get your yeah. cheap bargain price yeah. cigarettes here. Oh, yeah. 200 to the lady in the pink hat. Yeah. Another 200 over there. Who knows? You may get this week's golden gift. Heavy breathing in see through underwear. And another 200 over there. That's the lot. Get That's the lot. So I'm sorry, ladies. Come and get your share, lad. It's 15 quid for your holiday teapot. Look at that. Tears of gratitude. It's too much for him. Well, don't bloody give it him. Mum will never forgive me. I, I can never go home now. She won't know where it's from. She'll want to know where it's gone, though. Hey. I spent it buying them bags. He's bloody delirious! Ah, caught you at last. Uh, young Eric was showing us his mum's teapot with his holiday money in it. Weren't you, Eric? Come on, lad, sign this. I'm in no mood for hanky-panky. Do as he says, sign it. I want my teapot back first. Oh. Ah, that's better. <laughs> yeah, that's right now then, lads. How have you been getting on? I see you've climbed in with the rubbish. Yes, sir. We're turning it down just to uh, make more room for it. Ah. We? Oh. Yeah. oh, splendid, splendid. <laughs> yes. Well, I get all the other gangs doing it. <laughs> well, well done, lads. Cheerly open now. Where's Eric? It went. He's got the pig in money! We had no choice. His man would have got the truth out of him sooner or later. Don't make it dark to me, not me. It all happened for the best. I achieved my intellectual outwitting of the customs, and you learned that crime does not pay. Especially Eric. Yeah. Eric's learned. In fact, Eric's still begin learning. <laughs> The Dustbin Men, P619-16, edited. No! 
Taxman's came here again. It'd be cheaper to have him at home, living in. If we lived in Switzerland, we wouldn't pay no figging tax. It'd be a long way to get to work in the morning. <laughs> poverty. Grinding poverty. Mam says when poverty comes through the door, love flies out the window. That's very profound, that is. Must be an old Welsh saying. A very old Welsh saying. I don't know what it means, but we're always saying it. <laughs> what was that then? What was what? What you just said? I've forgotten. It must be an old Welsh saying. Oh, yes, that's right. And there's another very old Welsh saying, as always saying in Wales, honesty is the best policy. No wonder they're all figging starving. They're not <laughs> starving in Wales. They soon will be if they go on talking like that. The working man can't afford to be honest. But we're honest. Yeah, look at us. You're not proposing we become dishonest, are you? Well, no. Not exactly. I mean, you haven't had a proposition to lead us from the paths of righteousness, clean living and pig in poverty. No. Well, I have. <laughs> what was it? After due consideration, I turned it down. Mind you, it was tempting. Very tempting. Well, tempt us a little, then. Don't keep all this temptation to yourself. You might come out with psychedelic boils. It wouldn't do no harm to hear what it was, just out of curiosity. An old schoolmate of mine's in the Merchant Navy and he's got 5,000 duty-free fags he wants to bring ashore. Uh, why doesn't he bring them ashore himself? Because the customs not only know him, the 